Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Um, sorry it's been so long since I've been on. I have, um, last week and I was in the hospital. Um, had some chicken, blah, blah, blah. I'm coming out pretty diabetic. And, um, so I've had to change a lot of stuff as far as eating, um, and the way that I do things. Gonna have to start exercising more. Um, you know how that goes. Anyway, y'all don't want to hear about that. <clears throat> so, um, today what we're going to do is I have this little bluebird painting that we're going to do. Um, you can see it up here and I will do a, um, um, a traceable on my, um, sorry, I just want I will do a traceable site um, for you guys to download if you'd like to download the traceable. If not, um, just ask me so you can look at it. Um, and I will post the picture on my Facebook page as well. Um, and again, I'm Kim Han, and this is Kim Han Art, and we are doing some beginning oil painting. Um, I'm learning right along with you guys. Uh, I've done this for a while, We're actually taking classes. So, um, you know, what I know is just what I do. So, <laughs> on this little blue bar up here and on our paper. On it's just an 11 by 14 canvas port. I don't know if you can see it. Um, you can get these really blobby, um, <clears throat> Dick Blick art. I from, um, I think Jerry's Art Arama is where I got this one from. Um, so basically I've done that. Now I have put another coat of gesso on there. Um, they come already primed with this white gesso, so you don't have to. Um, but I like to, I like it just a little smoother, so I put a couple of coats of the white gesso on top of it, or gesso, whatever you want to call it. Um, so today, um, the colors that I'm using, they're just relatively simple. As you can see, I mean, the colors on the bluebird, there's blue. And he has like a little tannish, um, kind of a um sienna like a light sienna color to him he's got gray and white on him um then we have the are gray pretty much with some white and brown um and then we have the berries which are red um so that's that's what we've got going on there um this the colors that i'm using today they're really simple i've got the pressure blue up here um Payne's gray i don't like to use black if i don't have to um so Payne's gray is that below black but it doesn't muddy your colors as much um here's my titanium white um <clears throat> this is cadmium yellow light because it's got a lot of yellow in that um, the, the breast and everything um i went ahead and put some yellow ochre in there because i think it's going to need a little bit of tinting um this is venetian red because i don't i didn't have my case with my burnt sienna and it's pretty venetian it's fairly close to burnt sienna so you know whatever you've got um and this right here is just scarlet red and it's only because i had it out already um you can generally use just about any red that you've got as long as it's a bright red um and so we're just going to kind of get started and i'm going to start blocking him in here um <coughs> now you will notice up here um, he's got blue on the top. He's got that burnt sienna color, the light sienna um, tannish color um, on his body. And then below that, it's white, turns into white. And then his, his feathers. I suspect the upper part of his feathers are probably blue on his tail. Um, but the underneath of his feathers are gray with a hint of blue. So we're just going to start doing that. Now this right got his little eye in here so we'll do his eyes well he has a little bit of white around his eye um he has a small little beak um bluebirds are you know they're small and they've got little small beaks as well so i'm just going to start blocking this in now i do have some drying linseed oil and i did pour a little bit of that in a container this right here beside my palette and again you'll notice my palette um, nothing expensive. It's a foam plate. So cheap, cheap, cheap. Best way to go. Let me tell you. Throw it away when you're done. Okay, so I'm going to dip that into my, <coughs> my, my uh, linseed oil. And I'm going to take the white because eh, the blue is blue, but it also has some white mixed into it. So I'm going to take my white here. And I'm going to take, my white has a tendency to gunk up, so I'm trying to, to keep it before it doesn't get quite as gunky. I'm going to pull some of this Prussian blue into it right there. Oh, look at that pretty color blue. 
so, so pretty and that's pretty much what I'm looking for right there that pretty blue right there might actually need just a little darker let's put a little bit more in there and we're gonna have dark and we're gonna have light so we're gonna start out with the darker color a bit darker blue here and then we can always add and go to the white so um, he is I'm just gonna kind of now I'm doing impressionism so you um, it's not going to be completely perfect I don't do realism um, I tried doing realism and I still kind of go back and forth to realism and that's only because um, I've done it for so long um, but I, I really needed a change <laughs> I needed a change so um, my brush strokes are not gonna be perfect I'm gonna try not to make my brush strokes perfect um, now you'll see me um, see me kind of fight with this though because I still have that wanting to do the 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 realism part in there so um, just kind of look over me as I do that um, now he's got some little spots up in here little white spots and stuff so I'm gonna kind of just kind of go around that um, Let's see, he's dark. He's got a little more dark over in here, like right above his eye right there. So I'm going to put a dark color around that where that's at. Um, it's always better to start out with your darker color and then build on top of that, like I said just a moment ago. So we're getting a darker color here first. And again, like I said... It's not going to be perfect because I'm trying my hardest not to make it perfect because I'm instead of realism. I'm telling you, it's really hard for me, just so you know that. All right. And, you know, I'm doing wet on wet, which is called Alaprima, okay? Um, now, Alaprima... Um, you don't let it dry in between. You just go right on top and just go for it, okay? Um, so that's what a la prima is. Ow, that hurt a little bit. Um, you just kind of go right on top of it. Um, looks like most of the dark color. I've got most of the dark color. Okay, so now I'm going to take, we're going to mix a little bit more white with it. I'm going to make it lighter. Because most of it's lighter. <clears throat> and you know, I think I'm going to get here in a moment I'm gonna put a little bit of red in with it as well here just shortly I'm not gonna do it right now but here shortly um, now I mix that again with the um, with the linseed oil because it helps it dry faster And I talk to myself when I'm doing this, so um, if you hear me talking, it's, it's I'm not answering myself generally, but I'm talking to myself because I'm trying, trying, to, trying to decide where everything goes. So here he goes. We're going to make him, we're going to bring some of this over in here just a little bit. Put this over in here as well. And need some more of that white some more of that white in there a little bit more of our the thicker the paint on the bottom the thinner the paint on the top the better they're going to stick to each other so you know you don't want to thin 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 because if you thin thin it it's just not not going to be great either so um you'll find a perfect consistency that'll work for you some days i get too much paint on my brush as i have such a bad habit of me really trying to get out of that as well so put some lighter in here lighter lighter just going back over the top of that of the dark and we're building from that dark definitely here in a minute gonna pull in some of that pretty purple color or that red and make some of that pretty purple color there going to be mad but he's not going to be mad I promise it'll be pretty <laughs> really does look like he's mad huh? okay so I'm going to pull some of this light 
and I've just got the um, the brush on its side is what I've got right here. So I'm kind of I don't have it flat. I've got it on its side right now. Pull some of that light down in here. Keeping some of that dark. You want to keep some of that dark color. You don't want all the dark color to go away. So, all right. So now I've got a lot of the blue on there. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of that scarlet red. Now I'm right there. Now, what do you get when you mix blue and red? You get purple, right? So you have a little bit of a purple shade. I don't want it to be too purple, but I don't want it to be too blue or too red. I'm going to add some more of my liquid, <clears throat> the uh, linseed oil. Okay, so now here we go. We're going to go back over the top of it here. I'm going to put more purple in here. The purple is just going to go over the top of that blue. Look at that. How pretty is that? And I'm building tear in my paint. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Bring a little purple down in here because we want. It's got a little purple down in here. And just a little bit down in here. I don't have a lot, but a little bit. And again, I'm not going to take too much of it. Don't want to take too much off of the, the blue. All right. I'm going to wash my little brush out here. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and do this little eye. Just washing my brush out and setting it down to dry. Uh, his little eye, he's got a pretty big eye actually. Um, but inside his eye, if you see right here, it's not all black. Now you'll have to look closer, but when you look closer, it's white. Um, it's actually not even white. It's like a light gray. It has a a tone to it. It has a um, Shade, not, it doesn't have a shading. It does have a little bit of a shading, but it has more of a highlight to it. So um, we're going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the highlight. And I'm going to make it white. But like I say, it's got a little bit of gray to it. So that paint out. And now just a little bit more. And I'm going to dip into that Payne's gray. And I'm not going to get much now. I just want enough to where you can tell it's a highlight and not the rest of the thing. Now, it looks like it's a little apostrophe is what it looks like. So, it's bigger on one side, smaller on the other. All right. So, there is our little highlight. Now, now um, there's another little highlight right here. Just a little tiny one. And there's... Also, with this, I'm gonna put. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But um, for the most part, it's not all black. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead, or not black, but Payne's gray. I'm gonna dip right into that Payne's gray. Go right straight into it. I might have a little bit of white still on there, but it'll be all right. I don't have a lot of white in there, so it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna dip into that. There's our Payne's gray color. And it's got just a tad of this little brown in it right there. Just a tad. It don't have a lot. So, you know, I mean, birds are like us. Their eyes are not one color. They have, most of them are brown or, or black eye color. But it's got brown. There's some brown right there, and it looks like there's a little bit of brown. Okay, so there's his brown. Now, on his beak over here, I also noticed that he's got a little bit of brown. So while I'm here, go ahead and do that. We're going to make him brown right there. Just a little bit. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to kind of wipe my brush out just a little bit. Not, I mean, not completely. And I'm going to go back into that Payne's Gray. And I'm going to do the linseed oil. <coughs> and all I'm going to do now, here's his little eye. Go around that brown. You're going to pull that brown into it, basically, because, I mean, base, basically it is brown. It just has black. And there's his little. There's his little little eyeball. Now, i got to go around here. Okay. So there's that pretty baby's eyeball. So he looks a little more like a bird, huh? Now I'm going to dip straight into that Payne's Gray that I was using just then. Okay. Underneath his beak here. I got a little bit too much thinner there. Definitely got a little too thinner. Okay. Into that paint's gray, we're right over the top of that. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now on top, he's got a little bit of his nose hole right there. Okay, that's where he breathes. And then we've got some white with that Payne's Gray. And so when you first, I mean, mostly it's a bit of brown in it than it is anything else. Um, it has a little bit of gray right here. Some little highlights. Okay, so he's got some highlights. Um, you notice around his eye here, it is white. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the white. Just put a little bit of thinner on it. I don't want much. For some reason, I'm getting too much thinner on things and I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, okay, we got this. Now I'm going to pull some of that blue in there because it's not all white, so I'm going to pull some of that blue in there. There. Okay. So that looks better. I still want a little bit more highlight on his eye there. Just a little more. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight there. Oh, there he goes. There. Now it's starting to come together. Put a little bit more dark back in there. I don't want to completely overshadow the little baby. All right, so now we got that. Uh, there's a little bit of brown. I didn't, didn't pull as much into brown as I wanted to in here, so I'm gonna put a little bit more brown right in there. Just right in there. And basically, we're gonna have a lot of, of brown in here anyway, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my, um, Cadmium yellow light. I'm gonna pull it up here. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow ochre in with it. Not a lot, just a little bit, because I don't want it to look like it's bright orange or something. Right? Let's mix that all really good together. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this red, this Venetian red, which is more like a burnt sienna. 
because the color that we want for his wings and stuff not wings and stuff but his um body and stuff is more like a really mm, it's a really light sienna like a light burnt sienna he is going to have a little bit darker in there okay. and then i'm going to add just just a touch of white i mean just a touch Now, the reason I add that white is because I'm trying <clears throat> my color values here. I want it all to kind of mix together nicely. So I'm going to do the lighter color first here. Well, actually, I'm just mixing this, the lighter color in with it, and then we'll do the darker. Now, if you look at this little bird... He's got all different colors in him. I mean, he's got pretty, pretty colors. I love that purple. Oh my gosh, that purple's amazing. He's got a little bit of this. It goes over the top of his blue wing there. Almost makes it look green over there, which is kind of cool to me. Okay, um, let's see. He's got a little white right there, so I'm going to leave a little spot of white right there. I'm going to leave a little spot of white right there. And now his white comes up. And it's not really white, guys. It's got a little color to it. And you'll see that here in a minute. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take the smaller brush that I was working with before. Dip it into that liquid drying linseed oil. And here we go. It's a little darker right in here. Yeah, that's a great color, actually. He's dark right in here. Now I'm pulling from my line that I drew on. I'm pulling that color in, and it you know, gives him a little bit of a... Shows it's rounded. It doesn't, you know, shows that he's got some value to him. He's not flat. His <laughs> <coughs> birds like us are definitely not flat. Now, I didn't say fat. He's a little fat. He's kind of, kind of pudgy like me. I'm going to just block all this in real good right here. With this pretty dark color here. A little darker. Block all that in. Here's our line again, so we're going to give him a little bubble butt. He's going to have a bubble butt. Look at him with his little cute little bubble butt. Oh, what a sweet baby. <clears throat> okay, so now we put our darker color on. All I'm going to do is just add some light to that. Dip back in so it's a little lighter. So here's our highlight color of our body okay it's still not white just so you know that it's still not white it's light but it's not white <laughs> i'm gonna leave that one little section of white right there <clears throat> and his feathers kind of come down into each other so i'm blending kind of all of this together because his feathers come into each other there and there's just a little white he got a little bit of white right there but the good thing, the cool thing is, is as I'm blending this in, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's pulling some of that blue down in here and it looks green. It's really stinking cool looking, okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit of that lighter color down in here as well. I don't want to cover up all the dark. I like the dark too, so I don't want to cover up all the dark, okay? So we're going to leave some of that dark. Um, he has... A little bit of the red color in here. Got a little bit of red cover on, color on his his little wing up in here. He's not just all blue. He's got a little bit of that red color on him. So I'm gonna put a little red color out there. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. Oh, 
let's see. He's got a little bit of that red color up in here as well. Just a little bit. So I'm just going to dab some here and there. I'm not putting much on there. Just going to dab. Just to kind of mesh all those colors together. Because his colors mesh together. He's not all, you know, just broke up. <laughs> all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is down here at the bottom, he is more... Um, like a, it's like a very, very, very light tan color. So we're gonna put a lot, a lot of white there. Just gonna pull that white in. Load that brush up with white. I always, I mean, when I say load the brush up, I mean load the brush up, because I like to load up the brush. Okay. So we're gonna pull that in here. Here we go. It's all gonna, gonna try to make it all flow together here, guys. Just so you know, this right here are berries. Those are berries. Those aren't, aren't part of his anatomy or anything like that. So, those are berries. I know they look kind of funny there. I was like, oh, they're, they're going to have, well, I kind of have a wonder what I'm doing there with this poor little bird. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to pull some of that up in here. We're going to pull some of that dark color down into it. And we're going to just kind of blend it all together there. Now that color comes down into here. Now I'm gonna make it a little darker here in a minute. I'm gonna put a little gray in it to shadow, to shadow it, but the main, the base color is that cream color. So that's what I'm doing up in here. Got a little bit of this up in here because there's a little highlight up in here. You can see where the sun is hitting him. He's sitting so pretty and the sun is just hitting him so pretty. so pretty oh my goodness what a pretty bird okay I'm just gonna take and blend this out just a little bit with his rear end I want him to look really pretty okay so the next thing is he has got, it's really dark right here. So it's more of a dark brown. So I'm gonna jump into that purple that we had earlier and I'm gonna put a little more red into it. And I'm gonna add some Payne's gray to it. I'm just gonna make a really dark color, okay? Cause he's got a shadow right here from where his wing is. And it's really, really, a really dark little shadow right there. That's where his little wing sits. So you can see where his shadow of his wing is. So that's good. And I'm going to kind of blend that shadow down. Alright. So now, down here at the bottom, we have got... You know what? I'm not done with the red yet. So then we're gonna go back into that little tan color because he's got a little bit more up in here that I'm just seeing. I just want a little bit, just a little bit of a hint of the darker. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all, he's so pretty. I really never noticed how many colors are in a bluebird before, but um, they've got, you know, I'm thinking blue, right? Uh, no. Cool little dudes. Really cool little dudes. Alright, there we go. I like that much better. Okay. And so I'm going to dip into our Payne's Gray. Just going to dip that same brush. This is a, it, um, it's just a, I call it a floral brush, but I use it for just about everything. This is a number two. Um, it's a smaller brush. It's kind of like a filbert is what it is really. Um, his little honey. He's got a little bit of a lighter color along the edge, so I'm gonna kind of try to keep that where I can put that lighter color in there. Pretty little tail feathers. What a pretty little baby. 
bird is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here's the darker color. I've got, got a little bit of that linseed oil in there. Now this linseed oil that I'm using, it, it thins it out, helps it to flow a little better, um, saves your paint so you don't have to use so much paint, okay? Um, makes it um, makes it smoother on the canvas. On top of all of that, it helps your drying process. So, you know, where this normally would take three or four days to dry, it's only going to take a couple of days. As long as you don't have it really thick. Now, when you have it really thick on there, it takes longer. But so he's got a little, got one in the middle here. And then he's got another one that comes. Boop. Yes, I make noise. I know I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Just a crazy old lady. That's what I tell my grandbaby. She don't know the difference, but I tell her, your name is just a crazy old lady. I had her this morning. Had her, her mama worked, and her daddy is on nights right now, so Nana got to watch her, and oh, I just love that little one. She is so sweet. We just have us a good time, and she is a really good baby. I know everybody says that about their grandbabies, but she actually is a really good baby. She is a little spoiled. I do have to say she really likes to be held, but what baby does not like to be held, right? I mean, we probably would be held now as adults if we could be all the time, right? I mean, seriously, most of us. I know I would like to. Tell my husband, can you hold me? <laughs> He's probably like, uh, lady, you crazy. You crazy old lady, like I tell my baby. Just a crazy old lady. All right, so he, there's his feathers. Now I'm going to put a little bit lighter. I'm going to put a little white in that. Not much, just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go down here, because this is just a little lighter on the side. Not much. Now, if you look at it, you can see it. You just have to look. But sometimes, sometimes our highlights are just barely highlights. Just enough to where you know there's something there, right? He's got a little bit of one on the outside over here. How pretty. That bird is gorgeous, girls and boys. I'm going to put him dark back in here again. Just pull that dark back over the top of it. Clean it up. Clean up the light. You don't want everything light. You don't want everything dark. You have variations in there. All right. He actually even has, if you look real closely, he's got a little, little bit of that purple color in there. So I'm going to pull a little purple in here. Just a little bit. You don't have a lot, but I'm pulling a little bit in there. Yeah, a little bit right there. Just a little purple. I am, again, not using realism. I'm trying not to do realism, so I'm trying to do more strokes in my paintings. That is up to you. If you want it to, to blend better or whatever that you want, you are more than welcome to do it however you want to. Um, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. So I'm putting a little more color in there and I'm gonna pull a little bit of that, the body color down into it as well. Just a little bit. There it goes. That's what I'm looking for. Shows those highlights really well. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of it right here as well. I don't want too much. You can soften it, so that's a good thing. You can always soften it. And on this edge, just a little bit. 
you're softening it. There we go. Okay. And that actually goes up to his tail actually goes all the way up to here on the other side of the branch. Okay, so next, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna put just a little bit of a darker blue right here because he's got a real dark blue. And again, I'm trying to put more brush strokes where it doesn't look just, you know, Let's do his limb. Now, the limb that he's sitting on, um, if you look at a tree, it's not all gray, it's not all white, and it's not all brown. It's a mixture and a variation of all of them. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a darker color. I'm gonna start off with that purple color that we made earlier. I'll pull more of that Payne's gray into it. A little bit more Payne's gray into it, okay? I'm gonna change my <clears throat> change my paintbrush. I'm gonna go into one of my detail brushes. It's a, it's a bigger detail brush. It's a round detail brush, and I'm just gonna go into my paint thinner or my um, liquid linseed drying oil. Um, I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna pull it down here. got that gray hint to it. It's got a brown hint to it, like our nature does. It's not all the same. And yeah, I'm painting over his little foot, and that's okay, because I can paint back over him. Because his little foots are a lot darker, so. Just setting up. Again, there's that purple, paints gray. And it's darker on the bottom because the shadow is coming from the top. So it's always darker on the bottom side. That's not the only limb that there is. There's a couple small limbs at the bottom. There's one down here that kind of juts up like this and says right there. So there he is. And we got one more over here. And he goes like this. He's like there he is. And he has one little limb that sticks up here. He's a little thicker at the bottom. And he's got another little limb that sticks up here. And it's got berries on it. This doesn't have to be perfect right now. We're going to have berries on here. And it's going to cover up a lot of it. I'm still going to come back over with our highlight color that we have of this. So don't, you know, don't get all freaked out if it's not perfect. Again, we're not going for perfect. I mean, you can go for perfect if you want. I'm not going for perfect, okay? I'm trying to get out of going for perfect because that is oh, my faux pas. <laughs> I want everything to be perfect. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, so this one, he's got that little thing there. He also has a little limb that sticks out right here. And he's got another little limb that sticks out right here. Now it's not very big. It's just, these are just small limbs. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same color that I got on there. I'm gonna take that white, I'm gonna dip into the white. And I do want this to be a little lighter. And put it up here. That pulled some of that, um, even some of that color in from the bird's little body and I kinda like that so. 
Just keep that in mind. And it's okay if there's little gray streaks in there. You kind of want that because it looks more real that way. Okay, here's this little highlight right here. Let's get a little highlight. Got a little highlight there. A little highlight on the top part of it. All the way. Again. Trees are not all black and gray, right? This one's got a little highlight right here. It doesn't have much, actually. On this one, got a little highlight there. And he's, this one has just a little bit of a highlight right here. And right there. Not much. Okay. I do see on this one, I do think that I want to pull a little bit of that purple back into it. I'm gonna go add just a little darker right here again. If you get it too light, you know, you can always go back over it as long as your paint is thin. When it's thick, you cannot go back over it. I mean, it, it, it's not going to have the same effect. It's going to be muddy, and it's going to be gross and just nasty. So, I want this just a little darker right there. That's good. Okay. Now, his little feet are almost black. So, I'm just going to go straight into the Payne's Gray. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. And here's his little feet. He's got some little toes that just kind of hang over. They kind of bulge out at the bottom. He's hanging on. His little, you can see his little knuckles. He's just like, uh, I don't want to fall. There. There's the little foot one. He's got a little highlight on there, so we'll put the highlight on there in just a minute. Here's little foot number two. Now his little foot, this is a little leg. He's got a leg. His little foot comes right there. And that one comes down just a little lower. Now little bird's feet are funny. They're funny to me because they are kind of bigger at the end. But they're bigger at the end because they have to hold on to stuff. Now his little foot here is kind of hanging over, which I think is really kind of cute. That one little toe just hanging over there. It's like, look at me. Okay. Now, another thing you'll notice is in his body, we'll get some of that body color mixed with that gray. In his body up here, he's got a little shadow right in here. Not a lot. I'm going to put a little bit more gray in there. A little bit of a shadow. There we go. A little bit of a shadow right there. A little shadow. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of a shadow right here. And all I did with that, guys, is I just added a little gray to it. And down here, it's got a lot of a shadow. So I'm just going to add gray to the color. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're doing impressionism, not realism, right? I'll pull some more of that color back in just a little bit. Got a little bit right here. A little bit of a little bit of a color. Into he's got a little bit of gray over in here. So we're gonna kind of just kind of. Just all it is is a shadow. So there's his little shadow. Okay. There we go. Now, his highlights on his feet, I'm going to make white because otherwise it's going to be really hard to see. So here's his little highlight on his foot. He's got a few right there. Right there on the bottom of that one, he's got one. This one. He's got some right here. Just dipping straight in the water. I didn't even put any thinner in it, okay? 
because he didn't have a whole, whole lot of highlights on him. Okay, so there is that. Now, if you look at the tree over on this side, it has some light on top of that gray. So I'm going to take the light. I'm going to say, okay, here we go. We're just going to hit it in certain spots. I don't want it all over. So I'm just going, all I'm doing is just getting a real thick and heavy paint here. And I'm just going to hit it in certain spots. Now, mind you, where the paint is thicker, it takes it longer to dry. So just remember that. Always remember where the paint's thicker, it takes longer to dry. Okay, so that came out good. So now, I'm going to put just a little bit of black on top of his little beak. Just so it gives it a little bit where the highlight was and where the, there we go. Perfect. And see it pulled in some of that blue color and I absolutely love that. Love, love, love that. Okay. So now, time to do the berries, guys. Let's do the berries. Uh, what am I going to use for the berries? Let's see. I think I'm just going to use this. The one I've been using all day. I'm going to dip straight in to that scarlet red color. Now, remember, berries have highlights, so you're going to leave a spot for your highlight in there. There's a little berry. Here's a little berry. We're just drop blocking in the color. Okay, we're gonna come back and do the highlights and the low lights. I didn't leave my spot for my highlights in that one when paying attention when I did it. Shame on me. I'm just doing the base color right now. So there's two right there. There's one right here. Some of these are behind the limbs, so you won't be able to see them real good. Okay. You'll be able to see a hint of them, but not all of them. Okay. Just thinning my paint out a little bit. I don't want it real thick. Big in right there. He's big. He's got quite a bit of a highlight on him. So, and there's another one right behind him over here. And he comes up on, even on that side. He's a big one. I don't like the way it looks, so I'm just going to make this another one over here. How about that? It didn't look quite like I wanted it to. Um, down here at the bottom, there's one right here. Trying to leave a highlight on him. Now again, this is just the base color. I'm not doing the other things yet, so just keep that in mind. Now you'll notice I'm not putting the ones that are in the background over there because I just didn't want them there. So um, You can choose what you want where. Berries are not completely round generally, so don't worry if yours are not completely round. Mine are not. I'm not quite sure what kind of berries these are. I'll have to look that up. I don't think you can eat them for sure. Now, the birds probably can eat them, but I'm pretty sure we can't eat them. Okay, 
So now we have the blocked in berries, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is our highlights on these are not completely white, guys. They're more pink with a little bit of white mixed in, okay? So I'm gonna take that white and I'm just gonna bring it down here. Still have that red in my brush. Okay. Still have that red in my brush. You see the light, light pink we've got right here going on? That's what we're looking for. Okay, so highlight right here. Boom. Highlight right here. Boom, boom is all it is. Okay. You can do your highlights with whatever kind of brush that you want. Doesn't have to be the kind of brush that I'm using. Um, that one's got one right here. He's got a big one right there. Big old highlight. Get some of that red out of there. Put a little bit more white back into it. As you go over the red, it picks up some of the red. So, um, this one has a big one right there. I mean, it's big. Yeah. Boom. There it is. So I'm like Bob Ross. Boom, there it is. <laughs> uh, this one has a big one on top over here. It's kind of a C shape. Now we're not just putting highlights on these. We're going to go back and we're going to put the low lights as well. So we all have highlights and low lights depending on where the sun's hitting us. And some of these pinks, I think I'm going to put a little bit of white, more white over the top, but that's okay. We're starting with the pink and we're just going to go from there. We've got a lot of highlight in it. That one right there says hello. Make you go. Alright, so I'm going to take, while I am doing highlights, I'm just going to dip right into the white, okay? right into the white and I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit I want a little bit more white right in here just to kind of give the illusion of even brighter highlights I want a lot some of them have just a little bit more Got more white right there. Okay. There we go. Now, that purple color that we had before is what we're doing our low lights in. And I'm just going to go right over here and go boom. There's our low light on that one. It's got a little low light. It's got a little light. This one has really got a low light where where he's sitting on it. And it's behind the tree, so it looks a little darker. And this one's got a low light right here. Boom. This one's got one right here. Boom. There on that side as well. That one's got one right there. It's also on the other side of the tree, so it's a little darker. This one has one right here. And right there. It's got a big one right here. Yes, I'm making funky noises, I know. <laughs> Big one. This one's just got a little bit of one right there. Boom, right there. Yeah, I'm not making these perfect. Please don't think yours have to be perfect because mine definitely is not. I want a little bit more red right there. It just takes a little bit of okay, what do I what do I want where? I've got a little bit more red in it. 
sometimes when you put the low lights you know when I put the low lights you know I lose my color and I hate that so. for the background color. Let's see what kind of background we got here. That background is kind of like a lilac-y color. We should be able to do that, no problem. So, I am going to take, where's my brush I've been using all night? What did I do? Oh, I left it in the thing. See, I am dingy sometimes, y'all. I mean, like, really, really dingy sometimes. Okay, so this has got like a lilac color behind him. It's got different colors in it, um, but it's like a lilac, so I'm gonna basically just kind of mix everything together here. There's my red. Now, I'm gonna use that scarlet. I'm gonna pull in that Prussian blue. That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull in Just a little bit of that yellow ochre because it has a little bit of a yellowy hint to it. A little bit more of that. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there. And then the rest of it, where's our white? Boom, right there. Perfect. That's perfect. Does it have to be the exact color? No. Does it need to be a color that you like? Yes. Does it have to be the, I mean, you don't even have to do this background. You can do a different kind of background if you want. I'm just doing this one because that's what's on the picture. So I'm gonna take the smaller brush and I'm just gonna go around everything with the smaller brush. And I need to add my paint thinner to it or my, um, linseed oil, drying linseed oil. The drying linseed oil speeds it up, makes it go farther, guys, um, so you don't have to mix more paint. So basically, look at all that paint I have on there, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's not good. I don't like that. So there we go. I'm going to go around my little, little thing here, my dude with the little, little brush, and then we'll go back with the bigger one and do the outline and everything. So I just want, I don't want to lose what we've been working on, right? Hopefully you're not seeing my big old head here. Took a shower today, that's about all I've done. And besides watch my baby and <laughs> clean a little bit, that's about it. Do some laundry, you know. I didn't even make dinner tonight, I just ordered... Y'all, all week long I've done good, and today I was like, I don't want to cook, so we just ordered a pizza, but I did good, only had a couple slices, so I'm just, I'm patting myself on the back all week long. I've lost like six pounds this week, so I'm not going to complain. It's a step in the right direction, and I'm doing it, so I'm excited about that. Again, I don't want to lose all the good work that I've put in on this pretty little birdie. I hope y'all like the little birdie. He's cute. What should we name him? Let's name him Fred. This is Fred. Fred the birdie. This is actually a little harder than a, just a normal, um, but last time everybody wanted a bird so um this bird is so pretty he's just so pretty and it's turning spring and he just makes me think of spring so i said you know what i think they can do it so again i'll have the traceable on i don't know for sure if i have it on tonight or not if not it'll be on there in the morning um and you can trace and 
get what you, you know, do it however you want. And now, again, guys, since this is a free painting, um, just showing you guys how to do it free, I want to see some of your paintings. So you're going to have to show me your paintings. You're going to have to post them on my Facebook site or my Instagram site. Um, I'd really like to post them on my Facebook site. I really would like that. So I'm uh, just going around my small things here with my small brush. Do, 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 do. Really like that color, guys. Really like the color that we ended up with. And basically all that is is just a combination of the colors we've been using today. That's all it is. We're getting there, guys. This is the hardest part to me, or one of the hardest parts, is just going around everything that we've done. Because I don't want to mess it up, obviously. Keep adding thin our, um, the linseed oil to your paint as you paint. You don't want it to. You don't want it to um, be too thick because if it's too thick, it just takes up so much paint, and there's no reason for it. And it just flows better with that linseed oil, guys. See me keep putting it on there. See, I mean, it just—it's not dry on the brush like regular oil paint is without the oil additive or the linseed oil additive. really liking this. I think he turned out really pretty, guys. Look at him. Fred. <laughs> that makes me think of one of my best friends from high school, Amy. Um, she had, when I got married, she and her family had basset hounds. And um, one of their basset hounds name was Fred. And Fred was always around when I was growing up. I mean, he was always there when we were doing stuff or whatever, you know. And so when I got married and everything, I went, um, I saw Amy where she was working. And um, I said, well, hey, how's Fred doing? And she said, well, Fred's dead. <laughs> I will never forget that. Fred's dead. Just nonchalantly. Poor little old Fred. Fred was dead. He was a sweet little basset hound. He had a bellow that would just about knock you out of your seat. Somebody rang the doorbell. Boo! <laughs> Amy or Nadine, if you're watching this, I never forgot Fred, just so you know that. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I'm probably taking more time on it than I should. Um, again, I used to do realism, and so I tried more realism, and I just was more... I love realism, but it takes so daggum long. So I like to try to be a little bit freer now and just kind of go with it. Um, and with this, when we do the background here in a minute... When we actually do the background, background, we're going to have, you know, strokes and just, it's not going to be like, oh, so timid and, you know, probably pull some more colors in here and there. And, that point all right so I'm gonna make sure I have plenty 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 I'm just gonna get the paint out of this brush first off before I hit into another brush 
the brush I'm using is just a bigger version of the brush I was using. That's all it is. And I'm just pulling the paint. You can even make X, X. A lot of people will make little X, you know, in the paint. However you want to do it. However you do it. What feels good to you. I'm absolutely loving this guy. Just so you know, this is looking really good. Here in a minute, once I get the whole background in, I'm going to pull in some better colors. I think. Make sure you go all the way out of the side of your canvas. Don't leave anything open. Paint the whole canvas. Scrub that canvas with that paint. Now, mind you, I'm not done, guys. This is just the beginning of the background. I mean, I got things I'm going to do to it. If you want to leave yours like this, you can. It's all up to you. It's all subjective. Painting is subjective to the painter. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, got a hold of some of that blue. Got to... Fix that. Look, fixed it. No problem. Pulled some of that blue in there, but I really like the blue in there. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to take some of this white. I'm just going to dip right into the white. Dip right into that white. I want to lighten it around where the little birdie is. Just right around there. Lightning, so you can see he's right there and he goes boom. Now I'm pulling that into the other paint, but I'm leaving some of those brush strokes because I really like the brush strokes. Leave some of the brush strokes, make it. Yeah, there we go. that's looking great. I like it a lot.
the helm. Let's see. Maybe even just a tad more. I mean, just soften up in there. Make that little birdie stand out. even bring y'all I think I'm gonna bring some blue just a little blue in up in here around the edges just to kind of yeah I like that a lot now we're not coming into the middle we're just staying along the outside edge we lightened the middle up like we wanted it. So now we're darkening up. Darkening up this outer edge here. I'm just pulling in the colors that I used on the bird is all I'm doing, guys. Just pulling in some of those colors, just kind of making it. When we, try, we really want to draw your eye to what you painted. We don't want to take away from it. We want to try to draw your eye up to it, right? So... If it's darker on the outside edges and lighter in the middle, it draws your eye towards the middle, towards what you're trying to showcase, right? Yes, it does. Gonna make crisscross strokes, guys. Put a little bit of darkness down in here. Not too much, just a little bit. There. Now, see. Your eye is drawn up to your little bluebird. And guys, I'm going to call this one finished. So thank y'all for hanging in here with me. Hope that um, you enjoyed this. And I can't wait to see your bluebirds. You guys have a wonderful night.